We're under the helmet with Terrence Copper. Terrence, you're one of the stories that I love about the NFL. Undrafted, you got to work your way up, and six years now down the road, you're still part of this, and you're very much a part of this Kansas City Chiefs team. Talk about your road from being undrafted out of East Carolina, where you are today. Uh, it, it was a tough road, tough, you know. Uh, keeps you humble, though. The main thing I want to do is just work hard every day, get better, a little better every day, and seven years later, still here. It's a great story, and you've done it by being a member of special teams. And, and you don't think of wide receivers as guys who run down and, and, and tackle guys, and that's what you do. You run down there, and you're a guy on coverage. How does that work? And you know what? When I, when I first came into the league, Bill Parcells told me that was my way on the team. <laughs> so I kind of took to it. So I ended up special teams and doing whatever I got to do to, to help the team win. This past season, you were a free agent. You decided to re-sign in Kansas City. You obviously have a relationship with Todd Haley that extends beyond Kansas City. The two of you were together in Dallas, probably under Bill Parcells when, when he told you that, and he took the chance on you there. Talk about why you decided to come back to Kansas City as a free agent for 2010. You know, I, I love the coaching staff, uh, the players. I like all the players. Everybody real down to earth. Everybody wants to win. Everybody's here for the same calls. Everybody's on the same page from the coaching staff down to the players. I love being a part of organizations and programs that want you on their team and also the players want to win and the coaching staff really want to win. Well, the Chiefs hadn't won until last year in the history of that building, of Invesco Field. Does that affect the team at all even if you weren't there for the previous losses and does winning a game like last year kind of erase uh, and make for new history that can come? Uh, you know, it's every place you play is a tough play to play. You know, especially in the NFL. Us not being able to get a victory there for a little while, that's just a place where we went, we couldn't win. So it really, I don't think it's really a mind thing. It's just wherever you go, you can go any team and, and not win at their home. It's hard to win games in the NFL, period. Now you're not just a football player. Off the field, you do a little bowling. Tell us about that. Oh yeah, I'm a bowler. I got my own ball that smell like fruit. What, it's like a scratch and sniff ball? When you, when you take it out of the ball bag, it smell like fruit. It's purple and red, and it smell <laughs> like fruit. <laughs> uh, duh. I just got your email. I'm out for the season. Huh, don't worry about that. I switched to Sprint's $69.99 plan, so I get unlimited emails. What, what does that mean? It means I'm dropping you for my fantasy team, that's for sure. What does that mean about my knee? Oh, your knee's totally shattered. You see how hard that guy hits you? I, I don't want to see... Hey, 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 hey. Relax. Not costing me any extra. Why just talk with AT&T and Verizon? Sprint has unlimited text, web, and calling to any mobile for $69.99.